John 8, 43, Jesus says to some Jews, Hey, man, why don't you understand what I say? Well, he answers his question, because they can't understand what he's saying. He says, because you can't bear to hear my words. See, the problem is in verse, I think, 30, John points out these Jews believed him. They believed what he was saying. You know what Jesus calls these, uh, these Jews, he calls them children of the devil. Just right after he says this. Man, now you see, that's not a retweetable phrase. You're not going to find that phrase on my church sign. Hey, come on in or go back home to the devil. Doesn't really preach well. The problem is that these Jews had no conviction of the truth. You see, no conviction, no salvation. That's N-O. No conviction, no salvation. Well, I mean, everybody has a conviction, right? Everybody believes in something to an extent. But conviction, as I'm using it, as Merriam-Webster's second definition of it, is to be compelled of your error to convince someone of the truth, and that's what these Jews were missing. You see, they cognitively, they knew Jesus and what he was saying, but they didn't know it in their heart. They weren't convinced of the truth. And Jesus was simply saying, hey man, I don't know you and you don't know me. And he laid out some facts. Therefore, you belong to the devil. I know it's hard to hear. I really do. Especially in today's age, it's just not something you, you want to preach on. But see, no conviction, no God conviction in the heart will lead a person like the chief priest to arrest Jesus in the middle of the night because of jealousy. He did it in secret because he was afraid of what people were going to think. But conviction of the Holy Spirit will lead a man like Nicodemus, who was a Sanhedrin, uh, to, uh, to approach Jesus by night. Yeah, man, out of fear. But he asked Jesus, hey, man, what, okay, so what's this deal about you? And then we find Nicodemus, he's at the cross taking off the body of Jesus because he was convinced of the truth. And he didn't care what people thought about him. You see, no conviction will lead you to stone a man for preaching the gospel. But a man full of conviction called Stephen, who was being stoned, you see, conviction led him to say, Father, please forgive them. They don't know what they do. No conviction. Well, that will lead people to crucify the Son of God. But a heart convicted by the Holy Spirit of the truth. Now see, that may just lead you to say, Oh my God, what did I do? Please forgive me. No conviction, no salvation. You want to you hear more about why I say that? I invite you out to my church, Midtown, 1030 this Sunday. Uh, John 8, 43, Jesus said to those around him, you, can't, you know why you can't understand what I'm saying? Because you can't bear to hear my words. No conviction, no salvation. Thank <laughs> you.